Hi everyone! So I really get a lot of questions about uh, quality of the AI uh, generated images, uh, what upscaler I use and you know how to get less uh, rejections on Adobe Stock. So today we are going to talk about quality and uh, we are going to talk just about the technical aspects of the image. So we are not uh, talking about like the topics uh, that you choose, but uh, just the technical uh, side of uh, things. So uh, now I am uh, sharing my screen with you. So you've generated an image uh, in Midjourney version uh, 6 and now uh, we have to pick uh, which one uh, we want to upload so you uh, then uh, pick your image and click on uh, you one two three or four uh, and so we've picked uh, the image um, but this is not yet usable for Adobe Stock you have to upscale the image because the final resolution of this image is not enough to be accepted. And uh, Adobe uh, gives us, um, or not Adobe, I'm sorry, Mid Journey gives us uh, options here. So you have basically three options what to do. You can upscale the image that I just uh, show you uh, in your own upscaler and you will upscale it four times, uh, like 400%. Uh, or you can upscale directly in Mid Journey. So you would click on Upscale Subtle or Upscale Creative. So this is a subtle one. So the subtle upscale uh, will um, enlarge the image uh, twice. Uh, so 200% upscale. And it uh, the subtle one doesn't actually change the image. It improves the details a little bit, but there is no change to the image. And then in upscale creative, it also will enlarge the image by 200%, but you can see that there are uh, really like slight uh, changes uh, to the image. So uh, what I basically found, yes, and, and this upscaled images that you upscale in your uh, upscaler that you are using and you will upscale by 200%. I'm going to demonstrate. And what I basically discovered is that upscaling subtle in mid journey and then upscaling in my upscaler by 200% gives me uh, the best uh, results for the best quality and uh, for the best acceptance rate on Adobe. Unfortunately, when you upscale directly in mid journey, it does take a lot of your mid journey time. Uh, but uh, to me, this is like worse the um, result uh, and I'm really satisfied with uh, what I get uh, from, uh, from upscaling directly in mid journey and then in my upscaler. So I'm going to uh, demonstrate uh, my upscaler. So I am using uh, Hitpo Photo Enhancer and it is very easy to use so image one two and three uh, the first is just uh, the basic upscale uh, from mid journey as i said that one you have to enlarge um, four times and then i have the subtle and creative upscales and those will be enlarged by 200 percent and then we will have a look at them so i just um, uh, pick the images I want to upscale and I will drag drag them into a hitball photo enhancer. Uh, I will select all and then I am upscaling in general model and mode is fast. 
and this is what I always do. Then uh, res for resolution, it says mixed. It automatically upscales the already upscaled images by 200% and the unupscaled image by 400%. And here in the settings, you can actually choose the export format. So you can uh, like right away pick JPEG. So it will upscale your images in JPEG and you don't have to convert from a PNG anymore. And then I just click on uh, export and you can see the final resolution that it will give me. So it's 5,376 by 3,584. That is the final uh, resolution. And uh, you also pick uh, which folder you want it upscaled to. So now uh, you can see I have uh, both uh, PNG and JPEGs. And you can see that the images are um, bigger. So uh, I will I will uh, pick only the JPEGs uh, to look at, and uh, we are going to sorry look at the images at a one hundred percent resolution. So this is. Uh, the upscaler the four times uh, upscale and this is the two times upscale of the already upscaled image in mid journey you can see if you look at the eyes mainly you can see really the difference so the when you upscale directly in mid journey it gives you in the end a more natural uh, look uh, again, I will show the the four times upscale, the two times upscale, all right? So there is a difference. And then this is the uh, creative upscale. Um, so it the quality is similar to this one. But I find, as I said, the subtle upscale, which is this. So you upscale subtle in mid journey and then by 200% in hit ball, in my case. This I feel like it gives really the best result. Uh, so. Um, the other program that people are using is Topaz uh, Gigapixel. I haven't used it, so I cannot give you any review on it. But I'm really happy with the Hitpo uh, Photo Enhancer. And also, as I said, uh, like the setup is easy. So I use just the general model for everything. I never switch to anything else. Uh, I tried the quality one, uh, it uh, gives um, glitches on the image, so it's just general model, fast, and you are good to go. It gives really good results, um, and as I said, uh, I feel like you should use the mid-journey upscale first, and then use this uh, program. Uh, I also was asked to show how I put in like keywords and everything in Bridge. So, uh, so this is Adobe Bridge. Uh, you can see the files right here. Uh, those are our JPEGs that were already uh, upscaled. And what I like to do is to uh, put in metadata in bulk if the images are similar. So now we have basically three similar images. So I would select all and uh, not the, these two. <sighs> okay. uh, so I would select our docs and then uh, you put in uh, the shortcut uh, control I or command I based on uh, the computer that you're using. And here we have to uh, fill out documents, title, document description and keywords. So for the description, I would say that it's a black French bulldog uh, sitting on a purple 
throne on a purple background so something like that uh, and i will copy it uh, to the title and then the keywords uh, so you can of course fill out the keywords uh, by yourself i use uh, chat gpt uh, i'm not going to give you uh, the prompt that i'm using uh, but you can do it yourself so uh, I use the free version of ChatGPT. You don't need the paid one to do this. So you just describe to ChatGPT that you are uh, selling your images uh, on Adobe stock and that you need the keywords for them, the number of keywords you want it to give you and that um, the keywords are for this and that description and then you just fill out this description into the chat GPT prompt and it will give you the keywords um, and then you just copy it here so I'll just do it uh, like manually just a couple of, of, to demonstrate so you will go black, good dog French Bulldog, uh, Throne, Sitting, King, Purple, Web. Okay, so something like that, right? And it, when you go OK, and you pick just one of the images and you go again to comma, uh, Control or Command I, you can see that the metadata is filled out. And then when you will um, uh, put this image on Adobe uh, it will fill out uh, the title and keywords from uh, this uh, metadata from Adobe um, Bridge. So this is a very very uh, easy process good for um, bulk editing you know uh, so for sure I would recommend. So this is it from me today i hope this was helpful uh, i hope uh, that with the demonstration you could see the difference uh, in the quality and now it's up to you you know what what you do <laughs> if you will upscale uh, directly in mid journey or just in your upscaler um, uh, it is your choice, but I've shown you how to get the best results uh, that I could get uh, from my images. So uh, thank you for uh, watching and I will see you very soon.